Hello and welcome to this tutorial on adding animations to your projects using Tailwind CSS. In this video, we will cover how to use existing animations, create custom animations and apply them to real world use cases. So let's get started. Tailwind CSS provides a few built-in animations that you can use right away. These animations include animate-spin, animate-pink, Animate dash pulse and animate dash bounce. To use these animations, simply add the corresponding class to your HTML element. So, for example, I have this Tailwind CSS project running in my VS Code and I would like to add an animation here. So, for example, if I add, by the way, this is how it will look like before adding animation. And let me add animate pin. If you save it, you can see that an animation has been added. So let's try some other animations as well. So for example, let's try pink and see how it will work. You can see that it is very nice and very good looking animation. Let me try another one. Pulse. Very nice. Now let me try the last one that is bounce. Excellent. You can create custom animations as well. For that you will need to define keyframes and add them to your tailwind.config.js file. So let's create a simple wiggle animation as an example. So let's define the keyframes for that open your tailwind.config.js file and here in the extend object we will define a property add the keyframes and you can give it any name it does not matter it can be anything so I am going to give it wiggle add the percentage 0% to 100% and within that time period we want to add transition transform rotate minus three degree and then i will add another property with the 50 percent transform rotate three degree okay now we need to add this animation to your theme configuration for that in the extent object we need to add animation property and then add wiggle again this can be any property name you can use anyone if you prefer and here i will use the string that i defined here so this is basically a keyframe and now you are def setting the time duration for this animation and the type of animation is in and out and infinite so this will keep animating forever if we add this animation on it now let's apply the custom animation that we just created in your html element for that open index.html and instead of this one i will add the custom animation that i just created save it now you can see that it is now working you can customize it uh, further so let me increase the degree so for example let me try 90 and 90 here you can see that this is how it will look or maybe 30 okay so this is how it will create our custom wiggle animation for the element now let's look at some practical examples of how to use animations in the real world scenarios so we are going to create a loading spinner using animate spin class so first of all open the hero icons website and here we will search for the appropriate icon that we want to use so let's say i want to use this one go to your index.html and here i will add the svg for now you can see that this is how the svg icon will look like i will increase the size of the icon okay this is too much large so let me try 46 so for example let me try this one i'm going to get rid of this animation that i have added here so that it, it could stop rotating let me add some margin right okay now here uh, in the class area i will add motion safe then add the animation animate spin let's try you can see that uh, it will keep rotating and spinning forever another example of the real use case is that we can add animation based on hover let's apply an animation only when element is hovered for that i am going to add that animation on the h1 tag so here i will add hover animate ping so let's try 
you can see if i hover on it it will animate and it will keep animating until i hover my mouse out on it and also let me change the style of animation to make it look better so maybe we should try the bounce so if you hover on it it will keep bouncing forever if you leave the mouse it will stop bouncing another use case is that we can implement the responsive animation so you can use the uh, breakpoints to apply animation on a specific breakpoint. So let's do that. So for example, I don't want hover and by default, I want this animation, but for the medium or greater than medium screen sizes, I want animate none. So let's try. You can see that so far animation is not working, but if you reduce the screen size at a specific width, it will stop it will start bouncing so you can see at this size it will start bouncing you can increase the size for the breakpoint so for example i can use lg so it will start bouncing in the large screen as well in this you can also use excel so in this size it will start bouncing before getting started it is essential to ensure that you have Tailwind CSS set up in your development environment. If you are new to Tailwind CSS or have not set up yet, don't worry, I have got you covered. I have created a comprehensive video tutorial on how to install Tailwind CSS in Visual Studio Code. The video is titled on how to install Tailwind CSS in VS Code and you can find it in our Tailwind CSS playlist in this channel. By following the steps in that video, you will have Tailwind CSS up and running in no time and you will be ready to follow along with today's tutorial. To access our Tailwind CSS playlist, simply click on the playlist tab on the main page. So you just have to simply click on on the playlist and click on the created playlist and here you will find the complete playlist for the tailwind css this playlist is an excellent resource for learning more about tailwind css and mastering its various features so before we dive into today's tutorial make sure you have the tailwind css setup and ready to go once you are all set come back to this video and we will get started on our exciting journey with tailwind css all right in this tutorial, we have covered how to use existing animations, create custom animations and apply them to real world use cases using Tailwind CSS. With these techniques, you can create engaging and interactive user experience experiences for your projects. I hope that this video was useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos. Also, please hit the like and share button to help your friends as well. Thanks for watching and happy coding. Goodbye.